Good morning, Rockets. Today is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. We move from Genesis to the second book of the Bible, Exodus. Around 500 years after Abraham, God formed a new covenant with the prophet Moses. Moses led the Hebrew people out of slavery in Egypt and into the promised land. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. On the third new moon after the Israelites had gone out of the land of Egypt, on that very day, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai, and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. The Lord called to Moses from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. So Moses came, summoned the elders of the people, and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all answered as one. Everything that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Moses repeated the words of the people to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this silently in your heart. The Israelites spoke in unison. Everything the Lord has spoken, we will do. Repeat this to yourself. Is this an easy promise to make to God? Please join me in praying our morning offering. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father, Amen. St. Raymond Nanadis, pray for us. St. Claire Basisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. Here are today's announcements. If you ordered lunch today, the A option is crispy chicken tenders and the B option is turkey cheddar wrap. Just a reminder that this Friday is a $1 dress down day. Also, I'm sure that you may have heard from your moms or dads or listening in on the news that the number of COVID cases is really spiking here in Joliet and Will County. So we wanna be really diligent, make sure we're wearing our masks at all time, hand sanitizing as often as possible, and just doing our part so that we can stay in school. So thank you in advance for really adhering and being cognizant of what we need to do so that we can enjoy each other's company here at school. Today is Would You Rather Wednesday. So here's your Would You Rather. Would you rather have a piggy bank that doubles any money you put in it hmm. or find $10 under your pillow every time you wake up? Hmm. So would you rather hmm. have a piggy bank that doubles any money you put in it or find $10 under your pillow every time you wake up. That one's a hard one. I hope you think carefully about it. We have two birthdays today. Maris Jeslowski in sixth grade and Evelyn Vera in kindergarten. Happy birthday to the two of you. Make it a great day, Rockets, and I encourage you to use your words and actions to rise to greatness.